The only thing that's irritating about Comic Con is the lines when you're when you're punching celebrities. Honestly. Why it be worth the wait anyway? I would think so, yeah. Nights into Dreams, released for the Sega Saturn in 1996. Oh, that's our year, Sean. Yeah, and same year as Super Mario 64 came out. Oh yeah. Fun fact. Yes. It was released in The Sega Saturn and Dreamcast could not compete. I don't compete the 64 or the GameCube. And they couldn't even out compete the PlayStation. I'm actually really liking the music so far. If I remember correctly, the sound was one of, one of the last Sega consoles. Dreamcast. Well, technically, this is the second to last. Yeah. Second to last. Got it. Okay. But like the Dreamcast, the sound was also a commercial failure, sadly. Oh, uh, freaking strike. Oh my god. Ow! They just turned into ghosts. Yeah. Oh my god. God, look at the graphics of this game. Look pretty ambitious at the time. The graphics are decent on this game. Yeah, this might look and look at much older, more primitive. Oh, this music is catchy. Sega. The one and only. Sonic Team presents. Anyway, time to get on with the game. Nights into Dreams. Oh, it chooses the name for you. This is one of the characters, Claris. Valley, the ideal. Oh, 
take control of the knight himself. Yep. Knights is actually both male and female. in the air. Yeah, that's a cool thing. Certainly better controls than Superman 64 for all I care. I like how I like how there's nothing that like to like make you like jump. Yeah. Like you're just you just soaring through the air. Oh. 
Bianca's asking if you need a ride home. Do you need a ride home, Sean? Sean. Oh uh, yeah, when I'm, well, when I'm ready, I'll let her know. Well, I'm still That is amazing. <laughs> Did I just touch it? I'm going home, guys, tonight. See you, Dante. Now, where is the place? If you run into these clocks, Clarence can also retrieve idea by her soul. Idea. That's an interesting oh. thing. Yeah, totally. Oh, I guess that means those are game overs. It's those are long clocks. Uh, it means night, night over. Oh, wow. Mean game over. That's so weird. Huh. Night over is a way of saying game over. Makes sense. Interesting. And I thought Luigi's Mansion had a way, its way of saying game over. It is. It's good night. Sean, you left. You right just left. I, I know. Sean, you're on your own. Oh, my precious. <laughs> <laughs> so now I know what to do with those alarm clocks. Avoid them. If I remember correctly, Knights made a few cameos in other games and comics? Yeah, probably. I'll yeah. Have to go like Crazy Taxi or Daytona. You remember Crazy Taxi? I've actually played that arcade game before. Interesting. We even had Sega Bass Fishing for what I remember as a fishing game. You fish for bass? That's the main saying of bass fishing.
That's the thing with these clocks. You gotta avoid them. How much time you got? Yikes! 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 If you get all those colored orbs, you face the boss. Look at that. You're facing a dragon. Looks like a combination of a deadly matter and a whispering death. Then it grows a new head each time you hit it. Oh my god, I feel old. 
how do you think I feel? The bear score you can earn in Nightopia. Well, that'll do for this part. So, if you enjoyed this, leave a like, subscribe, and talk to you in uh, five for more.